What's up, y'all? It's me, it's your boy Asmongold, and today we're going to be looking at what is, in my opinion, the best mob farming spot in the entire game. Now, uh, this is a spot where you have a lot of your Shadow Pan uh, daily quests, and basically, all of these mobs around here are very high drop chance for windmill cloth and different uh, green items and just all that stuff. The catch here is that they're also very strong, they're very powerful. Um, they're a lot more deadly than a lot of the other just normal level 90 mobs but as I said before the reward is that they they're very high they're very dense like as you guys are about to see like I'm about to pull like fucking 20 of these things and kill them all and uh, in like these two pulls I'm about to do like this one and the one afterward I literally got over 20 cloth in just one fucking pull one pull 20 cloth and I'm not even using potion of luck which you should be using if you're gonna be doing this as a thing and what's really good about this also, as you can see, I mean, like, shit's really going down here. Like, you've got to really be on top of it. Uh, I actually, I died. You got y'all ain't going to see that, though. But I did die while I did this once. And so, obviously, you want to be on top of it and make sure you don't die. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I got all kinds of windmill cloth. And, uh, as I said, like, I mean, if you're using the the, uh, the potion of luck, you're going to be getting all kinds of bags, you know, greens. I mean, everything. Like, this is, this, in my opinion, I think this is the best mob farming spot in Pandaria in the game right now. Uh, it was not the best, like, I was able to farm this pretty efficiently on my warrior uh, last tier, uh, TOT, but my gear was also, like, almost, like, fully heroic Thunderforge best in slot, and so I didn't really make a video about it because it wasn't really efficient. Uh, now, if you're Siege of Orgrimmar geared, uh, this is definitely a very, very good place to farm. Uh, whenever I was first doing it, I never really saw any videos uh, about anybody else like really kind of utilizing this farming farming area. But uh, I don't know. There might be some out there now. I I, I don't know honestly. Uh, I haven't really ever heard of anybody doing this before, and so hopefully um, you know this will kind of open up a lot of people's eyes as to you know like the potential of kind of I don't know getting all these uh, you know these items. Now uh, obviously there are elites here. And uh, the elites are not very deadly either. Uh, they only have a million health, and so that's just like that's that's nothing really, in in my opinion. And uh, I, I mean, this is my alt warlock, and I'm just I'm just taking them to task here, just killing them, no problem. And uh, the before I sped this video up, it was a little bit over nine minutes, and so to put that into perspective, I made uh, I probably got like over 200 cloth or something like that in like those nine minutes, and uh, I probably would have gotten even more than that. Uh, you want to basically, what I do is I just fly around and I look for high high densities. If you basically pull every single large pack and you do a circle around the island, uh, you're never going to run out of mobs. Uh, I kind of went back to that first area that I was showing you guys a little bit early and I had to wait for them to respawn. It took about, I don't know, an extra 30 seconds or so. And so I'd say like they respawn every 10 minutes uh, as a I don't know, general rule. But there are so many mobs on this island. Like, this island is more dense than any other uh, place in the game in terms of just pure, like, the amount of, of creatures that you're fighting. And so if you're very, uh, very, your class is very AoE inclined, or you have the gear to kind of, I don't know, do this anyway, uh, this is definitely somewhere you want to look at farming because, honestly, uh, any other spot, in my opinion, in the game is not even remotely close to as good as this is because of, as I said before, uh, fast respawns, uh, very high mob density, and, um, I mean, shit, that's it. That's all you need, right? And, uh, as I said, like, you're gonna, these mobs do very high damage. That's why I'm always doing a circle, is because they do, like, cone attacks and, uh, just all kinds of stuff like that. And so, whenever you're doing this, you gotta kind of be on top of your shit, but it's, it's not that big of a deal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can also go up to these different areas and just pretty much kill all of these. Uh, as I said, like I mean, it doesn't really matter what you're killing in here. Uh, the elites, honestly, if you're AoEing, the elites are just like kind of fighting two two mobs, just because you kill all of the other mobs and you have to kill the elite, which is basically just killing a non-elite because of the amount of health it would have left. Uh, if you're always moving, uh, this is really going to be very easy to do. Uh, I was doing this in my warrior. And I would just like kind of aggro everything up and just blade storm, and it would be dead before blade storm would even end. Uh, this area up here, I don't think is very good at farming, but uh, at the same time, I mean, if you're kind of just waiting for respawns, it might uh, 
might be pretty efficient. The Kachongs over there in the pit, don't bother with those. There's only, I think, like 10 of them. And even though they're obviously very grouped up and everything, it's just not really a very, uh, very efficient way of farming. As you can see here, like they're all starting to respawn. And so I'm going to cut ahead to where they do respawn. I'm going to do a couple more pulls just to show you guys how it goes down. That's me resummoning my Voidwalker because I died. It kind of sucks whenever you get dazed here, but uh, it's going to happen. Uh, hopefully not too much. As you can see, like, I mean, I'm just pulling all kinds of mobs here. And I'm not even at full health. I mean, you'll see, like, I mean, I'm taking some, some real damage. And so you want to be on top of your shit here. My Warlock is a 548 item level. And so for a... Uh, a non warlock, you probably need to be at least like five, uh, five fifty-five or so. Warlocks are basically the best class in the game. Like in case you guys might not know that, and so uh, you know things that what's easy for a warlock might not be easy for a lot of other classes. As you can see here, I mean, there's just all these mobs, and I'm just they're so close together. I mean, this is just amazing to do, and I was surprised I was actually even able to do this as efficiently as I could on my warlock, but uh, it was really not even a big deal at all. I only had, you know, one mishap period, and that was all. And uh, that's pretty much all there really is to this. So uh, hopefully this helps you guys. If you're uh, pretty well geared, uh, this is a very good place to be farming mobs. And, uh, you know, make, I don't know, uh, maybe maybe three, 4,000 gold an hour, you know. Uh, I can't really say for sure. I don't want to, I you know, don't quote me on that because it depends on your server. But uh, I'll probably title the video, you know, three or 4,000 gold an hour or something like that. But we'll see. Or you'll see if you want to go ahead and do this. But anyway, thanks for watching and like, comment, subscribe.